You really went to the Undercity to get these? Weren't you afraid? The Undercity. A little danger is worth the risk, don't you think? Is that where Levi's from? Oh. <laughs> Careful. That's your parents' money you're dropping. Hello? Morning. Is someone in there? Someone is in there. All right. There's the stun. Oh, is this the other side of the perspective? Of that house invasion? Yeah, it's gonna blow up. And just destroy this guy's life. Chases out. Chases out into a, a flashback. This guy looks awesome. And he's got a stone. Okay, that was not helpful. Okay. <laughs> and this is what it looks like in the hands of someone who actually knows what to do with it. Some kind of magic fuel source or something. Looks pretty awesome. You go to Tron now. <laughs> this looks so cool. Some wow, wow. The world is palm. It's a pretty awesome spell casting. Speaking of Final Fantasy, that was like a, a great summon. It was just a weather spell, you know, just changing the weather. Mom's all right. It's a Christmas miracle. The power of the stone, and that's what it launched. Chase on the journey that would consume his life, and end up with him being blown up at his own front door. Let's go over it again. That voice. You have to believe me, I didn't do this. Relax, kid. We know Why would he do that to his own house? Yeah, right. Sent me here to ensure that anything dangerous is removed safely. Right. Need to do clean up. And yeah, those kids just opened up a whole, a whole thing. Imprisonment. What a curious This is Final Fantasy. I remember the first time I saw you at the academy. You reminded me of myself. I feel like he should be ending his sentences with Kupo. No great science should ever put lives in danger. It wasn't his fault. A way to harness magic through science. Magic? Yes. No. No? The arcane is dangerous, Jace. A force of nature. Science cannot control it. Why not? Well, here's Quitter Talk. Why wouldn't you be able to explore magic through science? Isn't that just what science does? Like, until you figure something out, isn't it just magic? Like, wouldn't fire and electricity and radio waves and things like that have been considered something akin to magic at some point before they were in our technological grasp? It's sort of weird to me how science has shifted meaning. I mean, it's always had more than one meaning. Like, one of them is a field of study that contains facts, like biology or chemistry. There's another part of it that has been lost, which is that it's a process. It's like a process of discovery. People will say something is scientific to mean it was done in a lab, you know what I mean? Or that there were chemicals involved, or it's like science E, if that makes sense. It's funny how science was anti-faith, but has become a faith. One of the lines I get tired of hearing all the time is, it's just science. As science is a process of refinement towards ideas and refinement towards truth, the conclusions people reach as steps in that journey, as steps towards actual insight, are very often wrong. And in fact, that wrongness is part of the scientific process because you put forth the best working theory that you have and then you test that and refine it. And then you test that refinement, et cetera, et cetera, until it's unrefinable or as far along down that path as you can get. And then maybe you have something like a reliable fact from science. But a lot of it is the pursuit of turning the unknown into the known and what is magic if not just the unknown you know what's the difference between cell phone technology and magic well we have a handle on it it would have been magic to someone else i don't know who this chase guy is but i support his deadly research how old are you my boy oh no are we gonna are we about to age shame 24. ah well i am now 307 years old All and still haven't learned what science is the mysteries of science have you though <laughs> own your mistakes before the council admit your work was dangerous but speak nothing. Stand tall, Chase. Magic. Stand tall, Chase. Bye, Felicia. Kupo. Some pretty cool training. I used to fantasize about having a robot like this. Vander said to lay low. Enforcers never come down here, so this is as good a place as any. You don't know the hellstorm you just unleashed. You guys know I wouldn't take you on a job you couldn't handle, right? Is this guilt? Maybe just don't take powder next time. Which is a good shot. Hey guys, you should see this. This secret hideout just got a lot less secret and hideout. Literally carrying the evidence of her misdeed in her pocket. Bold. <laughs> Yeah, it's not, not it. Really racking up a long resume of crime. 
That's it, it, well, that's a child's toy. Good. The boy's got ambition. It's why we supported him in the first place. Ambition? Darling, he nearly blew up. Ambition? Our Pish posh. <laughs> Besides, we're his patrons. It's Jace, not Jace. Speak up for him. It's us. This is for you guys on Patreon. If I ever, <laughs> if I ever go to jail for dangerous science, hope hope you got my back. I think I found my character, and my character is Jace, and therefore this royal family. The truth wants to come out. The truth wants to come out, no matter how many smug Moogles get in the way. Kupo. We crossed that bridge once before. We all know how that ended. They're just protecting you kids. I'm protecting our people. I'll do the same for any one of you. I feel like he's losing ground. We look out for each other. It's the way it's always been. I got a bad feeling about him. The Vander I knew, the one who built the underground. Yeah, there's a lot of rifts forming. Afraid to fight. That's the thing. People will look afraid. Yeah, people will no. mistake inaction for weakness. You look weak. There it is. Sometimes inaction is the hardest thing to do. He's got so other things to think we? about. This kid knows. There's my boy Jace! He's Jason it up. Save us, nudie aristocrats. This is too kind. I'm told it was built by <laughs> Is that a diss? Like, is she one of the children's toy for him? Some ginkgo nuts. Ah, don't you know I'm allergic? It's a much more direct diss. This guy. This is the first time I haven't liked an animal character on this channel. Jace is gonna show all of you. What do you have to say for yourself? The truth wants to come out, Jace. Stand up tall. What I did endangered people. It was reckless, and for that I'm sorry. But? And I hope that I can continue my studies. If you were a scientist, you'd know you can't make a prototype without breaking a few wrenches. <laughs> there you go, it's more like it. It came to nothing. So you're saying your study was meaningless? It no. was revolutionary. You don't understand science. All I see is a boy meddling with things he doesn't understand. The Academy. That's the point of science! <laughs> Damn it! This committee! Drive me nuts. Blow him up with your blue stuff, Jace. The Academy seems to have loosened its standards. That was unnecessary. The council has more in This guy playing with his toy. <laughs> I was trying to create magic. Let him know. Magic! Magic! My race was nearly destroyed by it. Surely we, the pioneers of science, can use it for good. We're the champions of discovery. Why fear it? When we can master it. Jace, enough. There you go. No, you stop it. That's a burden that only I here carry. He's Time. got some memories. Maybe I was too quick to judge this I've guy. Seen this power in the wrong hands. All right, fair enough. He must be banished from Piltover. It's a little extreme, though. Don't you want to, like, keep him close? This is a mistake, no? Because, like, assuming this magic can be a stand-in for, like, a yet uncontrollable power, or technology even, then it's gonna happen. You can delay it, but you can't stop it. Someone's gonna figure it out. So, even if that's terrifying, don't you want it to be developed in a place where you can keep an eye on it and maybe, maybe use it for good? Assuming that there isn't, like, this dark curse element to it that, I mean, that seemed to imply. My son isn't in his right mind. His entire Thanks, Mom. life he's chased an impossible dream. She's doing what she thinks will help him. But I can sympathize with a young man's dream to change the world. Perhaps in this matter, a lesser sentence may suffice. All right, this is more to this. This guy than I thought. Expelled from the academy and remanded to the care of his parents. That still hurts, though, for someone who has a dream. You got caught playing with your toy. But he is never to set foot on academy grounds again. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's not the not the move. He's gonna keep doing it. And there's something great about his burning drive to do that. I had to say something. Magic saved your life. Yes. Right. But it won't save you. He remembers. Now. You need to let it go. I could have convinced the council. If my own family won't help me. Nah, come on, Jace. It's not mom's fault. But I feel like the only effect of the council was pushing him away and making him bitter. Could these stones really invoke? Uh oh, he's oh yeah. Speaking of opening the opening the doors, it's gonna happen. We're asking a lot of questions. Beautiful, aren't they? Yet, I mean, I love his hideout. On the surface, what the hell is that? There's a monster inside all of us. Do you know who the real enemy is? No, no, it'll kill me. Real power doesn't come to those who are born strongest or fastest. It comes to those who will do. Anything. 
Wonderful, charming guy. He's the best. Everyone loves him. That was the weakest willed henchman. <laughs> I'm not drinking this. Yes, you are. You're right, I am. Power. Power. I like power. Don't give up on your dreams, Jace. They won't see you. Your name's no good now. Oh. My dad says you're a misfit. Oh, what about the the patrons? These fair weather friends. Somewhat literally. Turn the undercities upside down if you have to. Just find them. Thank you, Darth Vader. Got a lot on his plate. I'll take the strongest shit you got. Pretty smart having it turn off like that. You weren't always the peacekeeper, were you? Yeah, well, you can't escape the past, right? It's a shame if I had to put them on again. Cast irons, well, it's hard to clean. Yeah, it seems like he, he so desperately wants to move on, but it's just not the world for that. Feels like he's trying to hold all these pieces together, but he just doesn't quite have it. He just doesn't quite have the reform power. It's not the world for that, maybe. I feel like a lot's gonna happen very quickly. And a lot of lines are gonna get drawn very fast. You're just a small man in a little hole the world forgot to bury. And I'm gonna bury the lot of you. Yeah, but you can tell there's something deeply threatening about this world for him. It's not just the crime. Maybe it's the freedom. You heard him. They won't stop. We need to fight back. And if you won't... I will. This guy's whole world is just collapsing from the inside and outside. But he knows where it goes, unlike them. But there's also, also something to what they're saying, like, I don't know. It's not working, this holding things together thing. You still don't understand. Is this where the show started? The bridge? Is how you can work with them. I know you want to hurt the topsiders for what they've done to us. But who are you willing to lose? Milo? Flagger? Powder? He's an interesting character, but there's something about it that feels incomplete. And I don't mean as a character. In fact, what's missing makes him compelling. I mean as a person. It's like, seems like he was something of a leader in this rebellion or whatever it was, that battle we saw in the first scene of the first episode. But he suffered a loss which ends up as trauma, and now he's sort of paralyzed. It's not only that he's thinking about the good of his people. And that's definitely a part of it. But I feel like to some extent he's using that as a mask to cover a deep-rooted fear. You know, the reminder of how burned he got from that experience and the fear of even trying anything again. Instead, he's trying to like hold together a moment in time when all the, the pieces are wildly volatile. There's a part of him that seems wise and compassionate, but I think there's also a big part of him that's scared. And I think that's probably what his compatriots are picking up on as they sort of lash out at him for inaction. He doesn't exactly come across as this wise and stable leader, right? He comes across more as someone kind of buckling under the pressures of his life, but not feeling confident enough to stand for anything in particular. I'll figure it out. And it's gotta be terrifying for these kids who've looked up to him their whole lives. He's fallible, mortal. And I feel like his inaction will be his undoing. That's my boy Jace. Thinking. The answer is magic. Got a little close to that ledge there, Jace. Am I interrupting? He was about to discover the magic of gravity. I want to help you complete your research. No one thinks it can be done. When you're going to change the world... I gotta believe her. Don't ask for permission. That's what I'm saying. Am I on the villain side? Am I a villain? I don't even know your name. It's Victor. I was gonna say Ivanov, but I was pretty close. <laughs> what makes you different makes you strong. Always remember that, okay? Why did that sound like a farewell? That was ominous. You're a fool. There is no stopping what happens now. Maybe it's not too late. There's that Netflix disc. And scenes I can't use for YouTube. This is this is the last episode of this, right? This is the last episode of this relative piece, it feels. There's so much bubbling beneath the surface. So many people are making moves right now. She's about to do her own thing. She's frustrated. Oh no, what is she about to do? She's about to start something big. She's way out of her depth in League. 
She's gonna bring down hell on everyone. I don't know who it was, but I know it's not good. All right, so while the first episode was largely world setup, this feels like crisis setup, if you know what I mean. It's like everyone is so on edge. Everyone is so intense and is, is ready for the, the world to come crashing down. It feels like we've assembled a whole bunch of boxes of flammable material and someone's gonna do something to blow the whole thing up. And there are characters like Xander, Vander, who can taste it and are just basically praying that they can fend it off, but it's so clear that they can't. It's so obvious that they can't. It's happening, whatever it is. There's like class warfare that's about to start from Viola. And then there's the introduction of magic via my man Jace. And then there's this guy making his henchman drink Ursula juice. And then these kids, these kids who seem to have in some way launched the whole thing by their desire to take things into their own hands and just be like one step ahead of where they actually are. And it feels like there's no going back. I feel like once the dominoes start to fall, it's gonna be a very exciting game of dominoes.